Hello YouTube, it's Mark Woods with another video, and we're going to get started, you know, taking everything out of the car right now, we got the amp out, I just need to get all the wires out, so, and this is all part of this video of the amp rack, so, the kid is just sitting here. Straight to the back seat we go. All right, give me a minute. I just want to get this uh distributor box off. I still got to take that out too. You know that little ruler thing. That's the, that was to give me a, a little air for the amp, but we're not gonna be needing that air. Don't worry about the wires. The wires are con unconnected or disconnected. So, give me a minute. All right, YouTube. We're gonna get started on this uh, on this amp rack real soon. Just got off work. I just wanted you guys to check out this real quick. It's gonna be bobbleheads on my dash in the car. And it's my cousin's. He recommended it. You know. So we can focus, focus, focus. There we go. All right, Let's open it up. There it is. So now we got Pikachu. We got Pikachu and Frosty the base head. You know, the name was given by my uh, my brother, you know, Bass Junkie. Okay, stop shaking his head. You got to gotta give it a little stuff for him. There you go. You know, I did, I went to the auto shop and did a price for the uh, alternator. And they said 65 bucks. But they told me I gotta wait until the 27th. I said, you know what? I'm doing it now. <laughs> and this is like a, a foam holder. But check out Pikachu. So Base Chew is in the house. You know, and you got Frosty the base head. Alright. We're going to get ready to uh, get this amp rack built. All right, we back. Now, hope you guys enjoyed that unboxing of the new Pokemon. So, I don't know. Maybe I might have to call my brother Base Junkie to give me another name, though. But we already know. He, he already gave Frosty a name. Frosty the Base Head. And Frosty is ready, you know. But... What I'm trying to achieve here with these two by fours, I take these two away. So I want to stand it up, see where I got the mark, where I got the mark at for the batteries. So you got the mark over there. And then that's another mark right there. So I got room between the batteries. So I'm going to put it up in the middle. And then I'm gonna uh we'll see. We'll see. So give me a minute and I'll be back. <clears throat> okay guys, we back. So I got it like stacked on top of each other like that. But I'm about to uh, secure that together. You know, so I'm gonna use that's what I'm gonna use the construction screws for. So I'll be right back. Let me get to work. All right, we made progress. But right now I'm just taking 
two by fours. I'm just putting them on the back. I'm not going to paint them, but this is going to get a box, a little space from it. Let's see, I set up on there. Make sure it's like even with the bottom. Because it's going to have to sit flat. So, that's how I should look when I get through from the back. Alright, so I'm almost done, y'all. But I got a steel painting and everything. So, I will show the finished product with the amp hooked up. So, Still got work to do. All right, we back. Let's give y'all a little glimpse. Let me turn on the light. Let's give y'all a little glimpse of it. The amp gonna be right here. I'm gonna paint this too, so it's part of the old amp rack, of course. But I'm gonna paint it. Got a couple of scuffs marks on there. I don't know where that come from, but and then check out the back of it. So you got the all the two by fours to add a little stabilization. You well, it's solid. You know. It's not moving. <laughs> it's not moving. I mean, it's it's birch wood. I mean, Birch, from my understanding, uh, you know, like I was talking to uh, Big Worm, you know, he's saying that, you know, Birch Wood is overrated, you know, and probably he's right, you know, but I got this free, <laughs> so I'm going to use it, you know, it ain't no use to buying no wood and stuff and all that, but I ain't, I probably would never use bir Birch Wood for my subwoofer box after him, you know, with Big Worm saying, maybe he'll comment it in the comments, but all right, we are coming, we coming, we coming, we coming. So I got the fuse box. So after I paint it, you know, and check that out. Yeah, that's when, I don't know how that happened, but it happened, but I didn't know that that part right here was plastic. So I had my, uh, you know, my power wire going the other way on the plastic, and that's how it burnt. But it wasn't nothing that happened to my system at all, though. So, but now I just hook everything up that's powerful. I might hook up the four channel amp up here, but you know that's gonna be for the uh, one battery, the other battery, the, the car battery, and then here it's gonna be for the uh. I think the amp battery. But yeah. It's coming along nice, y'all. So we'll be back. Yeah. So just showing y'all how far we got. I just only got the brackets for the batteries in. Wanted to leave a little space to keep from the amp. So the amp is going to be all the way towards the top up here. Uh, so all we got to do now all we got to do now oh uh, it won't even focus right now there it is all we, all we got to do now is just paint it so i come back show y'all when it's painted and then we'll mount the fuse box and matter of fact now i can fit the fuse box perfectly in the middle it's not gonna be a far run for the battery, the batteries to get to it. So it might be a little run for the amp, but I can probably uh, run the wire. Well, you know, I could probably run it that way. I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. Maybe I wanna run it this way around the, the front, just like that, and then have it come up that way. So I'm gonna try it out to see. Yep, I'll be back. All right. That rack is basically done. 
bro. Is I'm gonna uh mount the amps in there on there and do some wiring on it to finish off the video. But it's coming along. It's real solid. It's real solid. You know, it's not gonna fall. And just to give it some extra support, I'm gonna you know brace the box. I'm not gonna screw the box on there. But I'm gonna brace the box on there. Just you know, push the push it onto the box. I still need a little bit room for it to you know air out. So it's good that you know the box itself is like probably 14 inches high. So let's see, 14 inches high. Let's do this with one hand, y'all. Fourteen inches high, so fourteen inches. That's that's how much height I have, and you still get a nice amount of air coming through there. Or I'm gonna even push it back just a little bit more, but this uh board is uh wider than the board that's back here, so. And what I might do again, I might go ahead and paint one piece and put it in front of the box. So I might go ahead and just paint this piece of birch. All right, y'all. I mean, this this build is really coming along. So we're just starting, but be back. All right, y'all. Uh, the only thing that I'm going to be afraid of it's the battery is going to be tall, so we might get our amps covered up, you know what I'm saying? So, ain't nothing I can do about it. Like, look at look how, how close the uh, brackets is. But other than that, man, the amp look, I mean, the amp rack look nice. Man. You know, I wanted to, you know, I wanted to have, wanted to be able to see this back here, so, but it's okay. You know, we'll, we'll figure out something. You know, like, I had to just look back there kind of hard, though, but you have the lights coming off the amp, so it's going to make a nice little color. You know, it's like, dang, I just want to probably, like, even just, you know probably move this to the front you know maybe that would have been a better idea and then put it the batteries to the back you know so we might could do that though we might could do that but it had to be a reverse so I probably could you know and then not let the batteries be seen like I probably can just turn around now we're gonna keep it like this we gonna keep it like that. Yeah. Well, let me go ahead and get the wiring done real quick. You know. But as again, I mean, it's still a nice amp rack. It's gonna consume space. Cause remember, all this space right here was the space that was down in the car. I like it, y'all. But we'll be right back. All right, guys, we're done. Now, what I might have to do, this is loose, this is tight. You know, all I gotta do is just get the ground wire straight for these. I do not like these connections. I should have brought the uh, the real shrink shrink wrap, but it'll do for right now. You know, that's all I need to do is just make a connection for me. So, yeah. Like I said, well now the battery, uh, the amp wire be right here. You know, this battery, since it's closer right here, we'll put it right there. You know, positive from this side, the battery is gonna be coming over here. Like I said, the only thing that I hate about it 
is, you know, I can't, I won't be able to see my amp unless I just really look back there. But other than that, though, it's still coming out pretty good. No, let's, put, let's bag up, let's bag up, let's bag up. All right. You know, I hope you guys like the video. If you do, smash the like button. If you're new, please consider subscribing. This is Mark Woods. I'm out.